So I'm back again. After a month, that's not a hiatus, that's just a, a timing thing for school and stuff. Um, I've explained that on my Instagram. Also, if I struggle a lot during this video, it's just, it's November in the UK, that means it is freezing cold. And also I have bad circulation, so you know. But, anyway, um, today we're going to be revisiting a video I did. How long ago? I don't know. I can't be bothered checking. Even though I literally have my phone right here, you may have seen that, but I don't know. Um, basically today I'm going to be doing quota quizzes again. Last time I, um, I kind of did the old, really cringe, I just don't like saying the word, um, kind of quizzes that, um, I have made, like, years ago, um, and also that two of my friends Rihanna and Ellie made. So, you know, it's old stuff, so it's kind of bad, but, you know. I'm going to be doing the, the good ones today that aren't ours. <laughs> um, I think I'll just go through random tags. And if you're new, and not even if you're new, but if you just if you don't know what Quotev is, it's basically a site where you can do um, quizzes, tests, um, you know, read stories. You can also make all that stuff too. You know, works both ways. And yeah, that's pretty much all I can say about Quotev. But yeah, if you want to follow me on it, there's a link in the description. And, you know, that's just. Sorry, I got distracted by traffic. Uh, from outside. The first quiz I see is who said Donald Trump or Shrek, and I absolutely refuse. Um. So yeah, I guess I can do some from the homepage first and then I'll go through different tags. Whether or not this video will be as long as the last one, um, hopefully not, but we all know, um, if you don't know at this point, I get off topic a lot, I rant a lot, and that's how literally something that's meant to be like, I don't know, 5 10 minute video ends up as like half an hour. So yeah, <laughs> which maybe means I don't need to upload like every week, <laughs> but you know. Uh, okay, so I was originally going to, I looked at this one, well I looked at two that I wanted to do, it's guess these mobile games and what watches over you, mythology wise, but then I see Tinder but anime. I, I, I kind of have to, don't I? Okay, so the description, are you bored? So I'm so am I. Are you suffering from anxiety? Currently? Yes. Films next week. Fun. Same. Do you also get breakdowns every night? Please be, please be my friend. Will do. Uh, five days ago. Oh. Oh, let me tap on it. Okay, so also, if you are new here, um, my screen, I don't have a screen recorder that, um, well, I do have a screen recorder, but, like, it closes... Like, but it closes down Chrome, so I can't film with it, and I can't like, fil I can't do Quotev and like stuff and show you the screen um, until I get one that doesn't do that. <laughs> so you know, or until at least I fix it. So every so often, I just kind of show you it if I think it's you know interesting to show you. So yeah. This quiz is 16 questions, and it just gives you an anime character, and you choose, fuck yes, or hell no. Hmm. Great. Uh, Izuku Midoriya. Don't know who he, if you don't know who he is, he's from My Hero Academia. Yeah. Um, and um, we have the perfect picture to go with it, if my phone will decide to... You can, there you go, you can see it, finally. Oh god, that really took away my light. That... Fun. Uh, sure, fuck yes, why not? Toraoki Shoto. Uh, oh! <laughs> the op it's the options that you... It's like, 
they've changed because you could just go like yes or no or you know but <laughs> so last time it was fuck what was it fuck yes hell no nah. and now it's I'm a whole Tori okay or yuck and Alto has put in like brackets how dare you <sighs> Let's go, I'm a whole photo okay, because why not? Sasuke, I don't actually know how you say Sasuke's last name, but that I mean Sasuke from um, Naruto. Yeah? Yes. I don't watch Naruto. I refuse to. <laughs> um, so, you know, so uh, his family name, uh, are hot, or ooh, and then confused all for noises. So, we're gonna confuse the author here and go ooh. Because, you know, again, don't watch Naruto. Don't want to watch Naruto, personally. Uh, Gi Giyu Tomioka? Don't know who that is. So, instead of I would hug and marry the sweet boy, I might just go I don't like lonely people and, if they and offend the author, because they put I'm offended. It's fun. But, oh, well, yeah, so if you know who this guy is, tell me. But, you know, I may not Google it, I may forget, I, d I don't know. I'm a mess right now. Uh, which is why I'm going, which is why I do uh, a lot right now. Great. So, yeah, let's just go, I don't like only people. Momo Yayorozu. Uh, She's a goddess, nah, she's not really my type. I like her, so sure. Let's go, she's a goddess, why not? Kakashi Hatake. Ta yeah, I'm lazy. Kakashi, like as in... Wait a minute. I... D and um... I swear, I'm double checking this. Yes, it is, so it's Kakashi Naruto. Okay, thought so. Just had to clear that up. Uh, Daddy, or I don't like perfect guys. Uh, I don't have to look either of those options. <laughs> sure, why not? K Kamado Nezuko. She is part of my must protect list, or no? I've seen I've seen pics of her around. I'm gonna assume if we're going with a theme that she's also from Naruto. Don't kill me if that's wrong. Let's just go no, cause I don't, you know. Ah, okay. Another person from Naruto, it Itachi, to be exact. I love him, or I don't like criminals. Well, that's just not true, based on some of the characters I like. Uh, but we're gonna have to do it. I don't like criminals. Levi Ackerman. Attack on Titan. The picture won't show. <laughs> I've just noticed the options are <laughs> Daddy. Or, I don't like short guys. <laughs> um, sure. <laughs> I'm out of my mind, honestly, right now, so just, <laughs> don't ignore me, because that would involve not watching the video. Uh, <laughs> Sebastian Michaelis from Black Butler. Again, picture won't show, which means my, I believe my Wi-Fi is lighting up. That's just sure wonderful. Please clean me, Sebastian, with your holy hands. Okay. Next! <laughs> uh, Al Albedo? Albedo? It's a girl. That's all I know because her picture won't show. Um, tell you what, what if, we, what if we use my 4G instead? Does that make it better? We'll see when we do the next one. Um, so. I don't know, I can't see her, so uh, skip it, why not? Kamado Tanjiro. Okay, so I don't know who he is either. 
Um, but he looks cute. Um, yeah, this this guy. Um, so we're just gonna say best sunny boy. Cause it's either that or no. So why don't we just go over them? Eraser. <laughs> God's sake, there's a common theme here with um what this also called guys. Eraser daddy. I mean Aizawa Shota from My Hero Academia. Yeah. Glucose father. Too old for me. Um, and if you pick that, the author says um age is just a number. So, uh, uh, I'm not gonna say anything about that. <laughs> We've gone glucose father. Mm hmm. Mu Muzan. Kibu. <laughs> oh God, right. I can't say this last name. Kibu Tsuji. You know something? I don't know. This this guy. Yeah, you can kind of see him. You can see you can see sh like his clothes because he's got black clothes. You can see his hair. I assume you can see him. Uh, I don't care if you're a demon. Be my daddy. He literally kills people. No. You know what? Screw it. <sighs> sure. Yes. Victor Nikiforov. Yes, we all love him. Most of us do. I'd assume. Uh, if you watch You Are Nice, you should love him. If not, your opinion is relevant to me. I'm no, it's, yeah, irrelevant. Uh, hot damn or nah? Hot damn. Yato, the adorable god from Noragami. I will kidnap that cute baby. Too goofy for my taste. Then in that, and we'll kidnap the cute baby. Congratulations, you have too many waifus and husbandles. That's, we all love that, don't we? Don't worry, because I'm also the same as you. And they've, um, they've given this picture as a representation. I don't know what to make of that quiz. <laughs> Uh, so we're just gonna keep. Ugh. Oops. Right, we're just gonna keep going. Um. Hmm. Let's see. Is it likely that you become a murderer? Let's find out. How much do you like horror films? Oh my god, I love scary movies. Eh, they're okay. No. Uh, depends on the the scary movie for me. So we'll, we'll go. Eh, they're okay because I like some, but then you know it, it's kind of like everything. Like you'd like or most things or whatever. You you like some of them, but like you don't like others. You be real, you don't. It's kind of a, it's your opinion, you know. Are you envious of others? Sometimes, never, envy solves nothing. Well, definitely. I'll, I'll admit it, I'm, I'm human sometimes. That's not I'm human sometimes, that's um, I'm human and I'm saying sometimes to be an envious of others. <laughs> Don't take that the wrong way. To be fair though, um, my friend Ellie did do like this the Ouija board online thing, and she asked if I was, and she asked if I was human. The answer was no. And then I also did a, like a reflex quiz um, to test my reflexes in biology. It asked me if I was even human. So maybe I'm not. You don't know. Ooh, that that escalated quickly. <laughs> What's this again? Is it like you become a murderer? Do you have any kinks? I get it, kind of? Uh, quite a few actually, none of your business. What's a kink? It's just 2019, I applaud you if you don't know what it is. Because that means you've somehow stayed innocent in this weird, totally earthed up society. The closest to no is none of your business. So, sure, none of your business. Do you have any serious phobias? Define serious. 
like I'm I'm scared of like quite a few things but I don't know if they're counting as serious like I'm scared of heights um I'm scared of failure embarrassment I'm scared of the dark I don't know let's look it up what counts as a serious phobia what counts as a serious phobia that's phobia nope there we go if a phobia becomes very severe a person may organize their life around avoiding the thing that's causing them anxiety as well as restricting it okay and cause them all just stress so so basically it interferes with your everyday life I don't see my fears are that bad that they interfere with that, like I still do things that involve me kind of technically facing my fears, but not fully because obviously I haven't gone over them. Um, so we'll say I have fears but they aren't serious. Do you like blood? I faint every time I see it. Yes, we are just skipping over the word enough that question. I faint every time I see it. Blood, blood, cow. I'm guessing this is a song. Not that, not that I, not one that I know, because it's got music notes and stuff. But it's a blood, blood, gallons of the stuff. Um, it keeps me alive, so it's okay, I guess. Not the first one. I suppose not the second one. So it keeps me alive, so it's okay, I guess. Because I definitely won't faint when I see it. Complete the song lyrics. Wake me up. When September ends, wake me up and decide before you go, go. Got to be completely honest. What not reading the answers. After I read wake me up, the first thing that did come to mind was before you go, go. So, guess we know my answer. How do you like this quiz? Okay, I, this is just a little rant thing. I don't like when authors do that, like quiz, because the point is, it's a quiz. But then you're like asking, how do you like the quiz? Like, I get I get if like, I don't know, well I'm, I'm not saying they don't like them asking about the quiz in general, putting it as a question in the quiz itself, like what I mean is for quotative, because quotative you can do it like, should I suppose if you do it as like the last question, that's fine, I get that, um, and you just select it doesn't affect your answer, that's, I'd be okay with that. and. If I support, but then you can also put it in like, say you can get four different answers, whatever like the quiz taker does. Why don't you just put in like all of them? How do you like the quiz? And you put your answers in the comments. Uh, yes, I get you may be like less likely to get like responses that way because you're getting someone to physically type it instead of just tapping the answer that you want but at the same time I don't know, it might just be me. I that's just how I feel. Um anyway, how do you like the quiz? It's pretty good. Oh no, it's wonderful. Let's just go, it's pretty good, I suppose. Um one last question. Do you think you have a mental illness? Yes, no, maybe so. No? Last, no, so least, faith. Okay, right. This is a thing I'm called Dev. They'll literally just ask you fate and, you know, they'll just give you a bunch of different answers. So, seriously, fate, coincidence. Seriously, I suppose. Is it like to let you become a murderer? Eh, maybe. You could kill someone in the future, you could not. Oh, nobody knows, not even you. And then we have the, um, the lovely thing of. The, yeah. Of oh, the joker there. I don't have a plan, I just do things. Honestly, most of the time, same. So, I may or may not kill someone in the future. I just. This is stupid. Um, 
Right, next quiz. What creepy it form would haunt you? Yeah, let's go. Okay, let's start with a tough one. What colour do you prefer are these? Red, blue, yellow, green, pink, purple, orange. Mm, let's go blue. Which outfit do you prefer are these? Oh, I've got a... There's like seven of them and I've got to go through the links of all of them, really. Okay, let's just open it with them. And I get to show you every outfit. Okay. Outfit one. Let's be honest, I'm not going to remember what... Ah! Pinterest is just saying welcome back. Okay, yeah, let's be honest. I'm not going to remember all of these. Yeah, in case you didn't see it. Outfit one. Um... Oh, outfit two. Don't ask me how this relates to what it for my um, you know. The quiz is what the quiz is. Outfit three. So holographic and white, you can barely see it. <laughs> Filled load, thanks. Okay, this isn't even an outfit, this is just, you know. This is just 80, 80s style aesthetic outfit. So, you know. Uh, once I just go on, I'm on five now. It. <laughs> eh, no, not too bad. Here's number. Here's number five. This is number six. Yeah, number six. Number. Number six. And <laughs> I kind of want that jumper. Um, number number eight. So you've seen them all. You can comment down one. Come comment down below which one you'd prefer. Um, for me, it's between six and eight. I think. Let's go six. Oh wait, no, that's wrong. That's the wrong number. Gotta check for that. I counted things the wrong way. So which one? Number five, sorry, is what it is. Yeah, number five, that's, so, you know, number five. <laughs> Would you rather live on Mars in a luxurious apartment in London City, on a treehouse with some raccoons, in a small cot a co cottage in the countryside, in a house on the beach, in a typical and beautiful villa in Tuscany, Italy, in a normal house in a normal town? Duh. Uh, where would I rather live? A uh, luxurious apartment in London City, maybe? That sounds nice. Choose something to drink. Bubble tea, iced tea, beer, Long Island iced tea, champagne, coffee, or a mocha latte. Um, don't get me wrong, I love the fact that there's three types of tea here. 
But why isn't just normal tea an option? <laughs> to be fair, I've never actually tried bubble tea. Uh, long iron iced tea? What's a, what's a different thing about an iced tea? Uh, definitely not beer, because <laughs> I'm underage. And... I... I don't know. Um, iced tea? The normal one that is? Because I've never actually tried a mocha latte. Um, now choose something to eat. Pepperoni pizza, spaghetti and sauce. You could just say spaghetti bolognese, but okay. Or spaghetti and meatballs, you know. Um, burger and fries, salad, hot dog and fries, onion bin things. So is that a hot dog, fries and onion rings? Or does it just mean a hot dog and onion rings? I don't know. Deep fried chicken legs, chicken nuggets and corn in a cup. Mm, see, I'd totally go for chicken nuggets, but like, I, don't get me wrong, I like corn in a cup, but I'd never have it with chicken nuggets specifically. Um, let's go pepper. Mm, no, spaghetti and sauce. I was going pepper when I need but choose a baby name. What? How does that decide which creepy it form? Oh, did I say what I would be? No, what creepy it form would haunt me, I believe. Yeah. Uh, Jennifer, Adam, Megan, Stuart. Is it meant to be Stuart? Because it's just Stuart. Zoe, Theodore, or Barbara? I Damn, I don't know. I don't, I don't really like any of these. I I, <laughs> I don't like basic baby names. Depend, no, I don't like most basic baby names. Which is why all of my characters, I like books and stuff, will sometimes be a bit, you know, not stereotypical. Uh, let's go Megan. Why not? Choose a pet. A bunny, a kitty. A dog, a parrot, a hamster, a snake, or a fish? Well, considering I am desperate for one at this point, let's go dog. Choose a place where to go on your first date. I, you mean that? Actually, yeah, it would be my first date, because I, I ain't had mine yet. <laughs> um, Italian restaurant, picnic on the beach, cafeteria, McDonald's, Chinese restaurant, Starbucks, Burger King. Uh, I don't know. I want to go McDonald's, but at the same time, like it's a it's a date. I don't know. It might be a bit too. I don't know. I'm fourteen. Tell if, if a boy. I'm working around this at my age, obviously. But yeah, as I was saying, I'm 14. If someone from my school offered to take, if a boy from my school offered to take me to an Italian restaurant for a first date, like, that's, you know, whoa. Uh, I don't know. Starbucks? Sure. Oh, choose a gift to receive expensive jewelry, concert tickets, books. Nice clothes, cute toys, a trendy bag slash backpack, or a new phone. Uh, let's go books, why not? Choose the most dominant trait that your best friend must have. Not what they have, what they must have. Uh, funny, rich, smart, popular, sweet, loyal, or good looking. I don't know. Loyal, I suppose. That's always a good thing to have in a friend, because you know that they're not gonna turn on you. Choose a song. Freaks by Timmy Trumpet. Bad Guy by Billy Eilish. Careless Whisper, George Michael. Vaporwave, Macintosh Plus. Mr. Sandman, The Quidette. Here Comes the Sun, The Beatles. Hound Dog, Elvis Presley. I don't really like to listen to it. I think I've heard Mr. Sandman. I've heard Bad Guy. And I've heard Freak, so. Oh, and I've heard Hound Dog, sorry. Let's go Freaks, Timmy Trumpet. 
Which creepy it form would haunt me? A zombie. Here we have a very lucky person. This guy loves your brain and not your body only. Which is pretty rare nowadays. You lucky fellow. That's a... <sighs> hate that. Okay, we've hit half an hour. So we're going to do one more. And there's one that's caught my eye. And it's only a true pot ahead one of this. So let's go. I, um, what may let me down is I haven't read all the Harry Potter books yet. <laughs> In fact, this sad is to say I'm still on, because I, I got, um, the books in, like, I got all the Harry Potter books ordered, what, in, like, October, September, or something? And I'm only actually on the Philosopher's Stone right now. So, you know. Uh, six questions. Hmm, what is that mysterious ticking noise? Harry Potter, Harry Potter, yeah, I don't hear a ticking noise. Snape, Snape, Severus Snape, Dumbledore, Ron, Ron, Ron Weasley, Hermione, Hermione, except this doesn't say Hermione, this technically, you know, it says Hermione, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> just fact of Ron, Ron, Ron Weasley. Um, makes you want to pick that up, but let's go with the, the Snape one, yeah. <laughs> Snape, Snape, Severus Snape, 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 Severus Snape, blank. So, you know, Dumbledore, what? Ron, Ron, Ron Weasley, Hermione, Hermione, Harry Potter, Harry Potter, yeah, I'm so confused, um, if you don't, if you're not a Harry Potter fan, honestly, I get it, yeah, it's, God's sake, Dumbledore, ah, no, I clicked what, I was just bit my lip at the same time, <laughs> it's just Dumbledore, uh, blank. Oh, so I've got to get the next one. I'm going to be honest, the only part I actually know is Snape, is like that seven of Snape part, and then I just know it goes Dumbledore. Uh, I'm just going to go now, uh, and it's like the Hermione one, and it's Harry Potter, Harry Potter, yeah. Um, bye, <laughs> and the author just goes, weirdo. Ron, Ron, Ron Weasley. That one? I don't actually know. Ron, oh, so I was right then. It technically tells you if you got it right next thing. Uh, because you've got to fill, like, you get the answer, and then it gives you that part you just answered, and then you've got to fill in that next part, and so on and so on. So, Ron, Ron, Ron Weasley, blank. I'm a real potter head. Remember why I'm taking this test? Her her money her money and I'm reading that as it's written, I'm not uh, you know. I know it's her many. Harry Potter, Harry Potter, yeah. This is so weird. What even is the point of this test? Um I don't know, I assume if it's done wrong it'll be how many next. So uh Let's do a mini, and we are right, everyone. Um, <laughs> so again, what's after that part? Yeah, okay, bye. I, you know what? Never mind. What's next? Hedwig, Harry Potter, Harry Potter. Yeah, I'm done. Or we'll just dot dot dot. Well, I'm gonna assume it's Harry Potter. Yep. See, so, uh, like, like, look at this. It's not, no, you are. Ow! Let's bring that right though. I don't love it. No, wait, you've got it. Oh, whoa, that's took away my light, so we're just gonna hide behind that. And now you can read it. Yep. Well, it's not gonna be shown in that darkness. 
Good Vince, 911, what's your emergency? I think this person is going insane. Oh, it's singing a song all day long at. It's just hog voice, but it's really long. I get a dump going to that. So I'm gonna assume, yeah. You, 100%, you answered 6 out of 6 questions correctly. What was the point in that? I don't know. You know, we've hit 35 minutes. Oh, um, we're gonna end that here. Yes, doing like a few quizzes takes me so long. But. It should be better when I get a screen recorder working. So, I hope you still enjoyed the video. And... What was I going to say? Oh yeah. There will be... An, there should be another video out the same day as this one. Because I actually have to go film it right after this. And then I also have a song Saturday to film, which I'm going to upload tomorrow. And then, I stated on my Instagram, you can check out why, but I'm also going to explain in more detail here, or I suppose more detail. Um, it's been mentioned in this video, but I have prelims starting next week, which means I really have to focus on those. And they last over a two week period. Although mine start next Monday and my last one is on the 26th. So I have those like... So that last day that prelims are, prelims in general are on around the school. I don't have any. Um, so you know, then I'll probably take the rest of that, like, I probably also won't be back that, like, week either. So after, like, the last video will steal from me until after that time will be that song Saturday that I upload tomorrow. Or what is, yeah, tomorrow. Um, and then I probably won't be filming anything at all until let's see so films in for me like the 26th technically and taking that week off okay tell you what instead of doing this in my head we're just gonna check the calendar to make things a lot easier on myself um so december 1st is like the earliest i post anything new but you know at least from so i upload tomorrow so at least from the yeah we'll say we'll say the 17th the 17th of november until at least actually no so i, I guess at maximum i don't know let's see december first so song saturday will be that last video you'll see of me until um december 1st i'm not saying i will upload something on december 1st i'm just saying the next time i upload something that'll be the earliest a video could come out so you know so after that song after tomorrow's song saturday comes out don't expect anything from my youtube for a while and because of that possibly not instagram either because I am an anxious and stressed wreck. Because <laughs> I, I procrastinate way too much. And that is um, really bad right now. And yes, it's technically prelims, so it's in a sense okay if I fail them. Like teachers and head teachers have said, literally told me that. But you know, that doesn't stop me from worrying. <laughs> so, um, and then next year when I do my like actual exams, I'll probably have even longer of a hiatus. Because I'm going to try and convince myself to not start revising like a week or two before prelims. <laughs> but yeah, with that, um, bye. I just have pause. But yeah, so that's that's that. Okay, bye. Oh wait, no, I forgot the outro. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe to become an asteroid. Okay, bye. <laughs>